Hi there, welcome to some DIY, my name's Ben. In this video, we're unboxing and doing a quick review of this mini electric kettle. That's the box gone, so we've got uh, some instruction books. Pretty cool instruction book, actually, with a little kettle there. I like that little touch, that's cool. Uh, so we've got that. Then we've got the kettle itself in a bag, which is good if you're traveling with this. It's probably quite a good idea, camping or whatever, that it's in a nice little storage bag. And we've got the blue one, so it's a blue colour with kind of a copper uh, element to it here around the uh, little display. Um, and then it comes with a separate power cable. So it's a three pin uh, uh, kettle lead, um, so I'm with a standard UK plug on the end. So pretty simple setup really, um, nothing too special about it in terms of how to use it. It's got a small uh, port on the back of it here with a rubber seal on it that's got the power port, the charging port or the powering port really uh, there so that's a nice little touch that you can cover that up um, and store it away um, so there is some instructions on the side of it here just to say gently press the start button to start heating um, and then press the start button for a long time enter the temperature setting mode and then you've got the different settings on there for boiling with water um, so that's it so the instruction book as I mentioned is here um, it's all in English it's just an English instruction book with some basic instructions inside there how to use it. Um, so it obviously says open the lid and put water in. Um, there's a maximum line in there not to go over. Cover the lid, plug the uh, kettle lead back in, press the start button to uh, start the heating, um, and then you can press the start button for a longer period of time to adjust the temperature control. Okay, we're over in the kitchen area now. We've obviously got our main kettle here, so you can kind of see the size between the main kettle and the, the mini kettle. Um, you hopefully can see inside there that it's got the uh, stainless steel material in there with a max line just there. Um, so you can see inside there, it's got uh, kind of a filter, but a quite a big hole filter. It's not like a mesh filter for the filter for the pouring out water. Um, the instructions do mention that if you are using it for the first time or for after a while, to half fill it and boil it a couple of times, that'll just obviously clean out the kettle. So we'll do that first of all, and then I'll show you the uh, how to use the settings on there. Okay, so I've half filled that now with water. I plugged it into the wall socket and then plugged it into the back, the kettle lead that came with it. So I'm gonna shut the lid now. I'm gonna gently press the start button. And you can see, hopefully see there that the red light has come on that says boiling water. So I press and hold that. You can see that the now flashing screen is flashing at 50, 36. So I press and hold it again. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So it goes down to 40. So the range between 40 and 90 degrees by the looks of it. So I press and hold it again. I'll go up to 80, release. And now I've set it to 80. So you can see on the display there at the moment, it says 40. Hopefully you can see that there. So obviously that will now heat up to the uh, to the point so you can kind of hear it hopefully. So I want to put that down now just for safe to keep things safe. So it started to boil, you can hear that. So it's at 40 now. So the temperature is starting to go up on there. So we'll cut it there and I'll come back once it's getting towards that uh, that 80 mark. Okay, so it started kicking in now. So it's got to about 50, hopefully you might be able to hear that. Temperature's going up a little bit quicker now, it's at the 56, 57 mark. Okay, hopefully you can see that bubbling away. So it's at 73, we're almost at that set, that 80 mark. It's taken maybe a couple of minutes to do so, very similar to a standard kettle. So we'll see what happens once it touches that 80 setting that we set it to. Hopefully it should flick off. Yeah, so it's beat and it's gone into the keep warm setting. So obviously once it reaches its temperature, um, if I don't switch it off, it will now stay on the keep warm setting. So you can see the blue light on there, hopefully. So that's now gonna, gonna stay at the 80 mark. So I'm not sure what it'll do, whether it'll drop down to 79 and then kick back in, but let's just see what happens. Okay, so I've left it around two or three minutes now. Um, the, keep warm, the keep warm indicator has stayed on there and it's kept the temperature up to 80 degrees without me doing anything. So I've boiled that a couple of times now up to the 80. 
Um, so yeah, really easy to use, really easy to um, use the actual functions on there with the press and hold, just kind of remembering how to do that. Um, but yeah, pretty simple. I think what we'll do, I'll just fill it up to the max and I'll just show you kind of how many, how much water you get out of there. I'll just pour it into a Pyrex dish. So let me just get this filled up and we'll pour it out. Okay, so we've set it to 90 degrees this time. So at the moment it's got up to 86, 87. So the plan is once it boils to 90, it should click off. We'll pour it into this Pyrex dish, uh, Pyrex bowl uh, dish, and we'll see how much we, uh, how much you actually get in there. I did, I did put it right up to that maximum line. Uh, so we'll see what we get. So 89, 90. So it flicks to the keep warm, and obviously it'll keep itself up to that 90 degrees. So we'll pour it into the Pyrex dish. we go I'll just switch it off so might have better see on camera but it's a 400 ml it's bang on that 400 milliliter line so easily get a couple of a couple of probably good size coffees or teas out of that easily um, so yeah around 400 milliliters so really easy to use obviously I boiled it a couple of times there so it's ready to use to drink now uh, in terms of cleaning out the kettle um, so yeah very impressive really easy to use nice small design um, good first impressions.